which is the best tablet under 20,000 rupees. So we have five options. So there's the Nokia T20 tablet, the Realme Pad, the Galaxy Tab A7, the Lenovo Tab M10 FHD Plus, yeah, weird name, and the TCL 10 Tab Max. Now, when you buy a brand new tablet, you either buy it for the multimedia experience, for gaming or, you know, productivity. And I'm going to tell you the best tablet for each of these use cases. So let's go. So there are two big factors that matter when it comes to buying a tablet for the multimedia experience, the display and the speakers. Now, starting off, let me just make it clear that all of these are 10 inch tablets with similar display specs, but I'm going to remove the TCL 10 Tab Max and the Nokia T20 tablet from this section because both of these tablets don't have wide wine Elven license, which I think is a deal breaker for a multimedia tablet. I mean, SD quality on Netflix or a 10 inch screen just does not make sense. To make it clear, the TCL tablet does have quad speakers with fairly good audio quality, but with the wide wine L3 license, it just does not stand a chance. Now I'm also removing the Lenovo tab because even though it shows wide one and one license in the DRM info app, as you can see, in Netflix it says L3 and there's only SD playback support. So yeah, sorry, Lenovo. So we basically have two options, the Realme Pad and the Galaxy Tab A7. Now out of the two, the Realme Pad has the better display. See, here's the Realme Pad's display in action and this is a display that's slightly better and it is more punchy when it comes to colors. So it makes up for a great video watching experience Plus, it has better viewing angles. The Tab A7 display is also well-tuned, even though it is a TFT panel. It looks good, if you ask me, especially because it's Samsung, so the colors in the display has been tuned to be vibrant. But I just think that overall, the Realme Pad's display is just better. When it comes to the speakers, both of these tablets have quad speakers with Dolby Atmos support, and both of these speaker setups are quite loud. Now, I did a speaker test, and the Tab A7 was louder, hitting 89 decibels, while the Realme Pad hit 85 decibels, so yeah, pretty close. As for the quality, I think both of these tablets sound really good, really crisp and nice, but I found the depth in the Galaxy Tab A7 slightly better. Honestly, it's not a huge difference, and if I had to buy a tablet for the multimedia experience, for watching shows and movies and listening to songs, I would pick the Realme Pad because of its better display. So the best tablet under 20K for gaming and performance. First of all, let me make it clear that all of these are budget tablets and the specs tell you the same story. Yeah, these aren't the most powerful chipsets by any means, but which is the best chipset out of these? So we ran some benchmarks on these tablets and according to the benchmark scores, here's the ranking of these tablets. So the Realme Pad with the G80 chipset is at the top with the best scores in both Android 2 and Geekbench. The Nokia T20 tablet with the Uni SoC chipset is at number two. The Galaxy Tab A7 with the Snapdragon 662 is at third. The TCL Tab Max is at fourth with its MT878 chipset. And the Lenovo Tab comes at last with its Helio P22T with some pretty low scores. Now, honestly, if you want a tablet for BGMI or even casual gaming, I'm not going to recommend a tablet with the Helio P22T or even the MediaTek MT8788. So you basically have three options. The Nokia T20 tablet, the Realme Pad, and the Galaxy Tab A7. But the best tablet for gaming and performance, once again, has to be the Realme Pad. See, I'll be clear, the Nokia T20 is also a good performer. I think it's fairly smooth in day-to-day -day usage, and I did not notice any lag in casual games. In BGM, my default low settings, and it's kind of playable, but I'm choosing the Realme Pad because it's just overall better at gaming and the overall performance. In BGMI, it's the only tablet out of the five to default to HD graphics, and at Smooth and Ultra, the game runs very well on the Realme Pad. As for the casual games, the Realme Pad handles them without any issues. The Realme tablet is also just more smooth in terms of day-to-day -day usage, be it for multitasking, loading apps, etc. So obviously, the Realme Pad is the number one choice when it comes to gaming and performance. Now, there is also the Galaxy Tab A7. I haven't forgotten about that. But honestly, the performance on the Samsung tablet is just not good enough. I mean, it's kind of fine in day-to-day -day performance, like playing videos, browsing, etc. But gaming is where I found the Tab A7 to be pretty laggy. So yeah, not for gaming. Now, we recently asked you guys about any questions about tablets under 20K on Instagram. Yeah, follow us there if you haven't already because we do this whole Q&A sort of thing every now and then, so you should join in. Now, the most popular question from people was, which is the best tablet with stylus support? No taking capabilities. Well, if you want stylus support, the Lenovo Tab M10 comes with one in the box. 
actually works pretty well if you want to draw or you know jot down notes the tcl tablet does not come with the stylus but it supports stylus input so you can buy a third party one and maybe use it also one thing to note both the lenovo and tcl tablet also come with these magnetic pins for detachable keyboards docks etc and the rest of the tablets they don't support styluses or these magnetic pins another question that you guys have been asking is which is the best tablet under 20k for the battery life well here are all the battery specs and one thing to note is that out of all these tablets only the realme pad comes with a fast charger in the box Anyway, I did a battery drain test on these tablets where I ran the CPU throttling test for 30 minutes and to do five runs and Geekbench five runs. And at the end, this is where they stood in terms of battery. The Lenovo tablet was the worst at 31% and it's understandable with its 5000 mAh battery. The Realme Pad, the Tab A7 and the Nokia tablets were pretty good and kind of similar, while the TCL tablet with its larger battery was the best. Next big question, which is the best tablet for the software experience? Well, except for the Galaxy Tab A7, all of these tablets come with a stockish Android UI with no different tablet specific features. The Nokia tablet does have this page in the home screen with recommendations for YouTube videos, games, books, etc. But that's about it. Now, One UI 3.1 on the Galaxy Tab A7 is definitely more feature rich with its more tablet optimized UI and features like the pop-up window, aka floating window for better multitasking. So yeah, One UI is obviously more feature rich. As for the updates, there's no word from Lenovo and TCL and I'm not very hopeful. Both of these tablets come with Android 10. I'm not kidding. The Realme Pad on the other hand is on Android 11 and I'm expecting it to get Android 12 since it's a fairly new device, but there's no other promise from Realme. The Galaxy Tab A7 should be updated to 12 too. I'm hoping for that, but there's no word on how long it'll be supported because Samsung has only announced the new good update plan for its S series tablets. Nokia has promised two years major Android updates and three years of security patches for the T20, which sounds really good, but it's Nokia and after the Nokia 9 fiasco, I'm not very sure. Next up, which is the best tablet for attending classes, doing video calls, basically the best tablet with a good camera and a mic. Now I did a front camera video test and I found the Realme Pad to be the best. Here's a video from the Realme Pad's front camera and I quite like the overall quality. I think it's sharp, the colors are good and I like the whole wide angle sort of coverage. Also the mic is loud and clear so that's pretty nice. The Nokia T20 tablet comes second because of its lack of overall detail when compared to the Realme Pad's front camera but it's still pretty good in terms of overall exposure. The mic is also pretty good. Coming to the conclusion now, I think it's pretty clear that the Realme Pad is the best tablet overall under 20k. Let me show you a comparison. See, the Realme Pad has a premium metal design. It has a better quality display than all of the others, and it has the wide wide angle license. It has quad speakers that are almost on par with the Tab A7's quad speakers, which I consider the best. The Helio G80 is the best performer among all, although a special mention for the Nokia T20. And it does well when it comes to front camera video and mic quality. Now the Lenovo tablet does come with the stylus, and along with the TCL tablet, it has support for magnetic accessories, but both these tablets are quite average on other fronts. The Nokia T20 has the best software support, but again, you know the flaws. The Galaxy Tab A7 gets a few things right, but its performance is something I'm not very sure of. So overall, it's clear. The Realme Pad is without a doubt the best tablet under 20K. Anyway, if you agree with my wording, make sure to hit the like button right now. Also, make sure to comment down below if you still have any questions about tablets under 30K. I will be replying for the first 30 minutes, so make sure to comment right now. Also, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. And thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Here are two iPhone camera features you did not know. So if your phone is running iOS 13 or later, you can just press and...